hello everyone creative Venus here and today we will learn this beautiful presentation slide but before that let's watch this pdf element is all in one pdf management tool that can save lots of your time if your work is related to managing pdfs then this is one of the best tool for you pdf elements one of the best feature is form creation you just need to open the PDF and design the form by using drag and drop form items like text box, radio buttons, checkbox, etc. You can customize each item for appearance and functionality. For more information about the PDF element and its features, refer to the links in the video description. So let's start the tutorial and the very first step is to design the background and as usual we will start with the gradient background and for that we are using the two stops gradient here and if you want to use this specific color you can download this template from the g drive link that i have provided in the video description and from there you can use this color and the next step is to draw this rectangular shape here and place it towards the top right corner like this so you need to kind of adjust this so that it looks good and properly aligned to the slide make sure the outline is off and now we will fill this gradient color the purple gradient color here apply shadow effect here you can try these sliders make sure the shadow looks good and sharp and it should be visible on the light background that we have used now you have to duplicate it and place it like this reduce its width so it should look like a notebook kind of thing or a note so let's expand it further now insert this text box and now we will you know use lots of text here to showcase the information we want so this is kind of information dashboard Generally, the data dashboard that we have heard or we have seen are rich in charts and graphs. But here, this is an information dashboard where we will show numbers and text and points, bullet points, facts, or process. So you can also, you know, use such information dashboards or information cards so this gives a nice appeal to the text and of course it really gets the attention of the reader or the viewer who, who is you know reading or watching this presentation live So I have placed it vertically here and I've written the year 2020. So you can write anything you want. It could be brand name, it could be a file name or the report name, product name, solution, fact, version, volume number. So I've given you lots of ideas and you know your topic very well. So you can write that text here. Now insert another text box. So I'm just showing you how to stylize the text. So now you can write the report name here by inserting another text. Apply white color, select your font. I'm using the Google font here. Now change the text orientation to vertical like this and place it here and this will make it look really beautiful
if the text is placed like this of course it will get the user attention so whenever a viewer will watch this slide of course uh, he will see and he will find it you know like what's written there in this text and why it has been placed like this so of course he will definitely you know read this text so that's what our motive so now you can place these small links for the further slides like one two three i have placed like locations for example us uk india and whenever you click on these it will take you to that respective country slide but you can write number or volume number so it could be anything so it's like uh, an internal navigation that you can create and use so i have kept the two locations in white color and the top one is in the purple color so that it presents the current slide for the us now insert another text box so our you know template is ready the template is very simple we have this nice background then there is this rectangular layer on the top the information card that's the name we have given to this uh, rectangular shape and on that we are using different text styles and formats to showcase the information that we want to present now text styling is also an art you should know what you want to present then you should know what where you want to you know place the information and then and important components of the information it could be like number or some fact some bullet point or keyword so that's all you should know beforehand so there you can place the icon or the logo of this report or the company anything you want to showcase so i'm just placing these random information pieces and you can use these as a template now we can write few pointers here like uh, title one then uh, with some description so we have applied the white color here and now we are changing the font and font is also very important uh, there are several categories of font which you should know there are some corporate fonts then there are some handwriting style fonts then there are some designer fonts so mostly what i use are like corporate kind of fonts which are pretty much straight and simple and beautiful in terms of readability of the content so you can download the fonts from the google fonts it's a great repository of fonts where you can try test and use those fonts in the presentation so this is how you can stylize the heading and then you can write some description here So meanwhile if you are liking this design please subscribe to our channel which is very important for us and you can hit the like button also if if you can share this video within your circle like with your colleagues or friends that would be awesome
it generally takes uh, if I talk about the time it takes to design a presentation slide 15 to 20 minutes it takes depending upon the you know information and most of the time goes into the research and conceptualizing what you want to design once you get that idea you can design it within five to ten minutes sometimes it takes 20 to 30 minutes as well so this is how you can present the text and numbers and title all you need to do is think differently think of the ideas that can change the perception you don't always have to go with the uh, rules rules of presentation those are not actually rules that's that is something you have seen in most of the presentations like title should be at the top then there is a footer and the footer there should be the email id and the page number or the slide number you don't have to do that pick a blank template and design your own idea and present your own information and present it in a way that you want them to see because you know your information better than others Also, one thing you must have noticed is that we are reusing the components. Now we don't have to again insert the text box. You can just copy the previous text box and paste it here, just change the information, and it will help in retaining the formatting as well. You don't have to like rearrange the font and the size and the style. You can use the same formatting. You just need to duplicate the text box and just write your new text also you need to focus on the alignment which is very important make sure everything fits with each other and you know everything fits perfectly well aligned now let's insert a few icons icons are a great way to represent information and these are in demand and nowadays icons are very popular and you can see icons everywhere around you icons really help in understanding the information better so you can use them and you can download them from lots of free sites there are you know very popular sites you can google and you will find many sites where you can download those free icons So now we have placed two, you know, two data elements here to showcase some KPIs. So you can, of course, add the KPIs here, or you can continue with the points which you have already placed on the left. You can place them on the right as well, duplicate them so you can arrange up to six points here if the content is uh, in a different format where there are more numbers then you can 
replace these pointers with the numbers so it's totally up to you how you want to present the information but make sure the information should be in the order from left to right or top to bottom so you should know what you want to showcase so we have reached towards the end of this slide design i'm writing that slide title at the bottom so this is what you can try in your presentations so this is the final output so please subscribe to our channel like this video share this video and you can join the membership as well and this will support us and we will come out with more such beautiful videos so that's it for now we will see you guys in our next video we will where we will create something new something creative so thank you everyone have a nice day peace